In this video, we're gonna talk about one of the biggest mistakes I see when students are working with this TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator. And that is the difference between the subtraction button and the negative key. So let's look at the difference today. All right, first of all, the subtraction button, it's over here with the other operation keys, right? Division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. And the negative key is down here by itself uh, below the three. It's in parentheses as well. Okay, so if we're just doing a basic subtraction problem, 10 minus six, the answer we get four. Okay, if we do 10, we use the negative key and we type in six. Notice it gives us error, syntax, check all arguments entered, right? So something is wrong, we have hit the wrong key. Okay, so notice the difference there. The subtraction bar is a little bit longer. The negative key is meant to be next to the six, so it's negative six, okay? Um, another way you might see this is when you go to graph. So if you go to y equals, and let's say you're trying to graph um, negative five x plus 10. So if you type in the negative key, negative five x plus 10, and you hit graph, and there's your line, right? Everything's great. Well, sometimes what students do is we go in here, and instead of hitting negative five x, we do the subtraction key. We do subtraction 5x plus 10, and we go to hit graph, and we think, oh no, something's wrong, right? Once again, syntax error, check all arguments entered. Because when we go back to y equals, notice we have put the subtraction key, uh, the subtraction button instead of the negative key, okay? So we go back to hit graph, and all is good. So make sure you know the difference between the negative key and the subtraction button.